Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to show you Oxygen OS 13 Open Beta 1 release for the OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So OnePlus has finally released Oxygen OS 13 Open Beta 1 for the OnePlus 8 series devices and OnePlus 9R. As you can see, I have installed it on my OnePlus 8T and if I go into About Info section, the build number is F.10 and the Android security patches 5th September 2022. For the installation of this build, you can use a local upgrade method over Oxygen OS 12.1 or you can wait for my next video for the same. Now let's run some benchmarks on this one. In Geekbench, the device scored 908 in single core and 3043 in multi core. Note that these scores were without the high performance mode. With high performance mode turned on, the device scored 904 in single core and 2895 in multi core. The scores were almost equal with the high performance mode turned on also. In CPU throttling test, the CPU throttled up to 74% of its capacity. The scores look quite good given that this is the first beta build of Oxygen OS 13. The build looks pretty much stable and have encountered no major bugs as such. Since this is based on Android 13, it brings all the new features also. One of the best things about Oxygen OS 13 is its animations. The animations are just so fluid and alive and it makes the phone experience so great. Honestly, Oxygen OS 13 or Color OS 13 has some of the best animations. Animations. Apart from that, you get this super cool quick settings menu with two big tiles at the top for quick access and all these quick tiles are customizable and can be changed as per your liking. This definitely looks very appealing and clean and I really like the new changes that OnePlus have added. Next we also have a redesigned shelf menu with the support for new widgets and global search. The global search feature only works in the shelf menu and it doesn't work in the app drawer. Apart from this we also have some changes like you can now enlarge a folder and all of the apps of the folder can be accessed from the home screen only. And if there are more than 9 apps, you can access the other app just by swiping to the left. This enlarged folder feature gives your phone an iPhone kind of look. We also now have wallpaper based color theming options available. If we go to wallpaper and size section under colors, you now have the new options which lets you choose wallpaper based color theming and it will start selecting colors based on your wallpaper. This feature was already available on Color OS 12 but it was not available on Oxygen OS 12. Glad that OnePlus has added to Oxygen OS 13 finally. And if we talk about personalization, we also have new contextual info features and new clock styles added to always on display. Inside contextual info, we have the new Spotify tile which displays the song info and another tile which shows information about Zomato and Swiggy. If we talk about gaming, the phone is again capped to 60 FPS but weirdly enough, in the first game that I played, the game was pushing 80 to 90 FPS and I played a complete game at 90 FPS but now it is capped to 60 only just like it was on Oxygen OS 12.1. That's all for this video, Oxygen OS 13 brings some really refreshing changes and I definitely like them. Comment down which feature do you like the most, subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.